hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so today we're looking at tutorial sheet uh, 2 and this is question 2 from tutorial sheet 2 and um, dimensional analysis so the most important thing that you need to understand about uh, this is that um, if you have not subscribed to the channel you'll be missing out a lot yeah, so make sure that you click on the subscription button there so that you don't miss out the videos I'll be posting. And then if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on my WhatsApp lines. If you need tuitions, uh, feel free to contact me as well in mathematics and physics. All right, so let's quickly move on to uh, solving the question. So now, how do you deal with such a question? The question says the frequency uh, N of vibration of uh, stretched uh, of stretched string depends on its length its mass its mass per unit length which is m and the tension in the and, and the tension in the string uh, i think there is something like a comma here there's supposed to be a comma there maybe and then obtain dimensional expression for the frequency n so they are saying we obtain the dimensional um, for the frequency for the dimensional expression for the dimen ex uh, rather ex uh, obtain dimensionally an expression for frequency n so an expression for frequency n they're telling us to say this n depends on um the following they're saying this n depends on the following which is um the length we have the length and then apart from the length um okay let me write it on top so they're saying n depends um they're saying n depends on the length uh, its mass per unit length its mass per unit length and then they are representing that with m and then they, there's also the tension t so this is what they are telling us to say the 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 these are the units that n depends on yeah so this is what we've been told so now let us um uh, find the le, le, okay we know to say the formula that we need to find for frequency we know that the frequency is given by k over l and then the square root of the tension there over the mass per unit length so this is how the formula is supposed to be so even as we are solving we have to we, we need to know that this is where we're going all right so let us um so let us now begin to do the calculations so now let's find the dimensional formula for what is it now so let us now find uh, i mean the the question is saying uh, the the frequency uh, depends in the uh, i mean depends on l m and um, t so what we can do is we're going to say this frequency which is n is equal to um they are telling us that it depends on that so we're going to say l to the power i'll give them letters l to the power a and then m to the power b and t to the power c and then um what we're going to do is um we know that frequency we know that frequency this n the frequency in this case they are using n but normally they use f so the frequency n is equal to uh we know to say this is just the same as one over period so we can also change n to write it in form of uh, the period so this can also be written as t to the power negative one so uh now if we introduce the fundamental uh, units uh the fundamental dimensions we we we, we can write n as um m to the power zero t to the power uh negative one and l to the power zero so i'm going to write them here so i'm saying m to the power zero l to the power zero and um t to the power negative one so what is n i'm putting that and then what is l there the length the length I'll write it the way it is. This is L to the power M. And then M there. They are saying this mass is not just a normal mass, it's mass per unit length. So I'm going to say this is going to be M per unit length. So per unit length I'll write it like that and then to the power B. And then we have the period, or rather we have the the tension there. We know that the tension is simply just the same as mass times acceleration. Tension is the same as force. Yeah, so tension is mass times acceleration so we can derive the dimensional formula for tension so actually even the the dimensional formula for mass uh, per unit length let me just derive it here and write it direct there so we have m per unit length which is just m um, l 
ml to the power negative 1 but because in the formula we also need to include t so t in this case will be to the power 0 so this part I can change it so let me write it in dimensions so this is m to the power 1 we have l to the power negative 1 then we have t to the power 0 then we have b so now let us also find uh, the dimension of formula for the force which is the tension so tension is uh, mass times acceleration so this one the mass is m and then acceleration we know to say the dimension of formula for acceleration we can find it as acceleration is equal to um, the velocity which is l over t uh, divided by the time again the change in time so divide by l so what we do is this is l l divided by or rather divide by time not l l over time so times one over time so this one is just the same as l over t squared which can also be written as l t to the power negative 2 so l t to the power negative 2 but of course we'll also add m to the power 0 which is just the same as adding nothing there it's just the same as multiplying by 1 m to the power 0 is 1 1 times everything there you get back to that so that is the dimension for acceleration the dimension of formula for acceleration so let me first forget about this since i want to replace it there so i'm going to say l t to the power l t to the power negative 2 so this is the dimensional formula for um, the period so i'm going to write it there so this will be m l of course this will be um this will be m l t to the power negative 2 m l t to the power negative 2 and then we're raising this to the power c according to what we have there so from there we can say we equate what is on the left uh to what is on the right so we uh we pair the what's this we pair the common term so when we get m this side m is raised to the power zero then on the other side we have um m raised to the power one so we have m raised to the power one which is one times b there so i'm going to say b uh, m raised to the power b and then um we also have here m raised to the power c so we have m to the power c so if we are multiplying um so if we're multiplying the uh, two numbers with the same base we add the powers so this is just the same as m b plus c so in short when we have um, the same base here on the left and the same base on the right the bases are the same it means that the powers will also be the same so we have zero is equal to b plus c so this will be our equation one and then the other thing is that or if you want you can just say c is equal to uh, negative b you take it to the other side of the equal sign take the b to the other side of the equal sign so after doing this we can um we can now move on to the other dimension so we get l so when you get l l this side is raised to the power zero and then on the other side we have l to the power a then we also have l uh, to the power negative b negative one times b to be negative b so l to the power negative b okay so we have l to the power a l to the power negative b and then we also have l to the power c so we have l to the power c so since we're multiplying uh numbers with the same base we add the powers so i'm going to have a minus b plus c so what we can do here is uh, we have 0 is equal to a minus b plus c a minus b plus c since the bases are the same the powers will also be the same so from there we can call this as our equation 2 let us find equation 3 so this side we have the period uh, we have the time t being raised to power negative 1 so p p i mean t is being raised to the power negative 1 so we have t to the power negative 1 and then on the right there you have t to the power 0 times b this would be 0 so t to the power 0 times and then we also have t to the power negative 2 times c we're going to have negative uh, t to the power negative 2 c so um we have t to the power negative 1 this side this side t to the power 0 minus 0 plus negative 2 c 
this will give us negative 2c so we're adding the power 0 minus negative 2c the answer will still be t to the power negative 2c so on the left this side on the left we have t to the power negative 1 is equal to on the right we have t to the power negative 2c so since the bases are the same it means that the powers will also be the same so we are going to say we are going to say negative 1 is equal to negative 2c and then the value of c will therefore be equal to 1 over 2 so we have found c we have managed to find c so let us also replace c in this equation so that we can find b so we are saying b plus c is equal to 0 so if we put half there we're going to have b uh, plus half is equal to 0 so our value of b will simply just be negative half so we have managed to find a c and b let us find a so how do we find a we make a the subject of the formula in this expression so we say a is equal to uh, when b crosses the echo sign to become positive b and c crosses the echo sign to become negative c so we have a being equal to while there's b we're putting negative half and then while there's c we're putting okay let me write it on top there properly Okay, I'll write it in between here so we have a is equal to while this b i'm putting negative half while they c i'm putting uh while they see i'm going to put uh what i found on c which is half so uh, minus half so when we add these two you agree with me that the denominator the common denominator will be two so this would be negative 1 minus 1 which is just negative 2 over 2 so the value of a is negative 1 so from there after finding these values yeah, so after finding these values a is equal to negative 1 then b is equal to where is b i've forgotten why i found b okay b b b b b b, b. okay b is negative half so b is equal to negative half and then c c is half c is equal to half therefore the dimensional um the the, the 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 dimensional expression for the frequency n remember we are supposed to put a dimensionless constant here dimensionless constant which is k so let me write it properly so we're going to say n is equal to k um there was supposed to be k here k and then you have l to the power a m to the power b and then t to the power c so this one will just be a k and then l to the power a which one is a a is negative one so we say l to the power negative one then m to the power uh, b m to the power negative half and then c to the power half c oh not c sorry t to the power c which is t to the power so we say t to the power c which is half so let's see if this one is going to give us the formula that we know so we have managed to calculate everything we've managed to find so let me just erase one part and then we see if we're going to get the formula that we know is exactly the formula for frequency let's see if we're going to get the formula for frequency that is how you prove if your answer is correct let us prove let us try to prove this see if the answer is correct okay so how do we do the proving All right, so this expression there we have n is equal to so we have k to the power negative one so l to the power negative one is just the same as over l and then any number raised to the power half is just the same as the square root of that number so we have the square root of uh, m to the power one to the power negative one and then the square root of um, the square root of uh, uh, t so when you multiply the two 
uh, not really multiplying when we okay we have k over l there so this one can also be written as uh, 1 over the root of m then times uh, the root of t so n will therefore be equal to k over l and then this will be the root of t over the root of m so l i mean n is equal to k over l then when you check this this can also be written as the square root of t over m have you seen that you have gotten the exact formula for frequency yeah, so this is how you deal with such expressions thank you very much for watching today's tutorial make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and feel free to ask me any questions anytime that you have a question and those who are willing to join my tuition group feel free to contact me on any of these lines on uh, on the screen. My name is Hamted. Shalom, shalom.